Hey everybody, uh, Wes Hodges here with Wesley Hodges Fly Fishing and Bird Hunting. Today I'm coming at you with the, uh, in my opinion, is the hot guide tip of the week. Um, <clears throat> talking about re-spooling your fly lines um, as we get ready for, um, you know, late spring, summertime, uh, smallmouth and trout fishing. Um, and something that you need to consider doing every year. Um, if you fish a lot, if not, at least keep your lines kind of cleaned. Um, there's many ways you can do that. Um, but as far as re-spooling your fly lines, you know, most times people take their rods, reels, and lines to a shop. They get spooled on a um, actual mechanical device. Those things work great, but they really don't eliminate the twist in your fly lines. The way I'm going to show you now will 100% eliminate all of the twist in your fly line and ensure that you're set up for when you're on the water. Now, it takes a little bit longer which is fine by me because when I'm on the water, I want to make sure that I'm not worried about any of those damn knots you get in your fly line. So here we go. Um, I'm going to show you the first part of this process. It's about a three stage process to really get it done. Number one, the first most important part, go ahead and unspool all of your line off of your brand new um, spool of line, if you will, what it comes out of the box. Okay. From there, unspool it. And if you see here, I got mine connected to an anchor point on a tree here, okay? My fly line, <clears throat> the very front end of my fly line is connected to an anchor point. You can use anything you want, I don't care, but that's the first step. Next, what you're gonna do, take all of that fly line in your hand and you're gonna walk the length of that fly line back to the reel, okay? So I'm taking all that fly line, I'm pinching it, and basically what I'm doing is I am pushing all of the twists out of that line, okay? Remember, connect to an anchor point and then walk that line all the way back to the very, very end of it, okay? Which will essentially be connected to your fly reel, all right? So, once that's done, um, you know, what you're doing is taking all the twists that are built up in the fly line and pushing them to the very, very end out the end if you will okay so your line is completely nice and straight full or completely eliminated all the twist in your fly line all right i'm about to the end here and i'll go into step two of the process okay so i'm back here at the um what will be the end of my fly line i've already went in and connected that to my backing okay the next step i'm going to do is begin reeling in essentially, all the fly line that I have already stretched out, okay? So, my line is tight. You can't really see this right now, but if you can imagine, I've pulled my fly line tight against the anchor point. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten my drag down on my reel here, okay? Tighten it down so it's nice and tight, because when you're reeling it in, you don't want this to slip. You wanna basically reel your line in and walk it back to the anchor point, okay? Now what you've done is you're continuing to stretch out your fly line, continuing the process of eliminating any more twist in your fly line as you reel it in, okay? This is where those spooling techniques, the mechanical devices, don't really get rid of those twists. What they do is they basically take the line from the actual store-bought spool, connect it to your fly reel, reel it in on tension. So all you've done is you've reeled in twist on tension. Our first step that we did is we pushed all of the twist out of our fly line. Now we're gonna reel it back in under tension, okay? 100% removes all of your twist in your fly line. You will not have to worry about it. Now over time it will build back up, so you gotta redo it again. But for now, and it may last you for quite some time, it will not have twist in it, okay? So again, next thing I'm gonna do I'm going to reel this in and walk it forward to the anchor point. Once it's done, job is complete, okay? Minus the video here, it probably only takes about five or ten minutes, all right? Um, I highly recommend you guys do this. This is the hot guide tip of the week. Probably the hottest tip you'll see <clears throat> today across the country, all right? Um, yeah, hope you guys have a good spring, a uh, good beginning of summer. Uh, most of our fish, smallmouth wise, are beginning their spawning season. Um, so we're kind of sticking towards trout right now. But I uh, hope to see you guys on the water. All right.